was here for Killmonger. He was here for war with Killmonger, but Killmonger couldn't make it. So Ice Gold accepts a fight on short notice against a very dangerous and game rule breaker. This is going to be one of those rare moments. Real world transitions out to the blue collar, to the rest of the fighting scene. Our Rose has a tall task ahead of him, and I'm very excited for what we're about to see. Making his way now to the octagon is Rule Breaker. A last minute opponent here who accepted the fight on short notice. This is going to be really interesting because Ice Cold has definitely been training really hard. Ladies and gentlemen, this next month is your second fight of the evening for Real World. Ice Cold versus Rule Breaker. This is going to be a really interesting fight. Rule Breaker might just surprise surprise us with a with a with an excellent performance, but it's hard to tell how much he has prepared for this, considering he has accepted this fight on short notice. Who's to say how much training he's had before then? Stand and bang rules, ladies and gentlemen. No one will go to the ground, and immediately they both exchange. I think referee Fazan is going to have his hands full, making sure they stay separated. Oh, very hard strikes here from Rule Breaker. Oh, nice head kick. Aros lands there. Nice one-two there by Aros, but he needs to keep his hands up. Jab there does not land, but that push kick certainly does make connection. Both fighters satisfied keeping this fight on the feet till now. Felt each other out at this point uh, until this moment. And now we Ooh. see them pacing. Rule Breaker's leading in with those body kicks well. Yeah, Rule Breaker's been throwing some really nice kicks. And when you don't have the grappling, which is a big part of Aros's arsenal, those body kicks, you can't really do what you normally want to do, which is take the person down. But Aros and Rule Breaker are scrapping right now in the center of the cage. Yeah, Rule Breaker needs to keep his hands a little up there. Yeah, just like that, when he's entering the range of Aros. Aros is very light on his feet right now and Rule Breaker seems to be a little flat footed but still controlling the center of the octagon as they go into this exchange. Both fighters leading with those leg kicks and Aros try to throw that right hook over the top does not land. So far both fighters are having success with the leg kicks and the body kicks but no one really landing a clean enough combination with their hands. Yeah you can tell both of them are looking for a hard overhand there. There we go. Aros not want to emphasize on his power so much he just likes to stand bang and scrap and right now he's doing very comfortably with oh great, nice shot there by our rose very tough rule breaker and that did land flush clean right in front of us yeah, but if this does go to the ground our rose does have decent grappling and it may not be so difficult to handle rule breaker there so Shouldn't Aros maybe go for a takedown? This isn't uh, an MMA fight, Suma. This is kickboxing. That's why they're wearing the kickboxing gloves. You know? Excuse me, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little new. Oh, look at those exchanges they're having here. Right cross down the middle. Aros does not connect. Yeah, nice. Inside leg kick there attempted by the rule breaker. Three minute kickboxing round. That spinning back fist got the crowd going. Did not phase rule breaker too much. He's still moving in. Nice overhand there by Rose and a return. High kick there by rule breaker who seems a little tired at this moment. Conditioning is a major factor for both these fighters. For kill for rule breaker because he's taking this fight on three minutes notice. Uh, pardon me, three days notice. 
and for Aros because I mean he's never fought in this kind of a stage before. I don't think Rule Breaker has either, but it does drain you. Aros at some moments had his hands completely down just like now. You can tell he's really tired, but he's staying in the fight there. This gloves there. This Fazan calls for the second round. Team Fight Fortress Shin Guards represent. <laughs> Here we go with the second round of this three round affair. Ice Gold in the red representing the red team, Rule Breaker in the blue representing the blue team. Yeah, Arroz needs to be careful about throwing a blind kick there because Rule Breaker is doing a nice job of catching the leg and Ooh. countering Ooh. just like that. Those are the straights that have been missing in this fight and Rule Breaker should resort to them where he can. Those straight punches are money. They landed really well. Yeah. Red team already up two points. Yeah, rule breaker arguing with the ref about something there. All right, here we go. Nice kick there by rule breaker. Uh, but again, Ooh. when he's attacking, he is, his hands are really low. And it, it gives Aroz oh. a chance to counter just, just, like, just that. like that. Nice hard low kick there by Aroz. Rule Breaker's coming in. He's not do making any feints. He's not giving him anything to read here or try to go off of. Aro still, whenever he's attacking, still might be mixing it up a bit. Rule Breaker will have far more success if he starts to mix up these shots with some feints. Yeah, and Aros will have the success if... Oh, nice head oh. kick there, boy. It's just as I was saying Ate that. that head kick like it's breakfast. Returns with a body shot. There and we now go. Arose. Trapping. Ice gold is ice gold, baby. Look at that. Woo. Oh, he's going in on it. Hard shots there by Arroz. Clean shots by Arroz against the cage. Nice push kick. Arroz is here to fight, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we saw Rule Breaker controlling the center of the octagon in the first one and a half of this fight. But here, we, here, here we're back. Arroz takes the center. He's the aggressor. He's, he's throwing more damage. Rule breaker on, oh. the, on the back pedal right now. These overhands for our rules for Ice Cold have been pinpointed in this round. Killmonger, I know you're watching, buddy. Gear up. You got a big fight ahead of you whenever you're back. Ice Cold currently leading with those leg, ki leg kicks, landing with those overhands. Second round still underway, still going, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, our rules needs to maybe wait. Oh, there we go. Wait for his moment to counter a, a, a cross by Rule Breaker there because that's where Rule Breaker's guard is most low. He can just sit back and throw a right there just like that. One of the easiest counters to a leg kick is to throw a strike as soon as that kick goes because your guard, a person's guard is mostly lowered whenever they throw nice, a kick. Nice cross there by Aroz. Aroz has good success with the hands in this round. Rule Breaker needs to get tho let those right and left straights go if he wants to. Connect and a right overhand once again by a rose. Rule breaker throwing a more labored shots at this point of the fight as we enter the last 10 seconds of round number two. Who Both. said the kids from the parks can't fight, ladies and gentlemen? Look at this. Two rounds of straight, clean, stand and bang action. Yeah, they can certainly fight, but they still have time. They still need to improve on their endurance and their, and their, their gas tanks essentially you know, everything over, over, all, overall but still round three underway ice gold in the red representing the red team that's up two and oh against kill switch representing the blue team still to pick up a point in this red blue affair Ooh, straight right lands there yeah Aro seems a little more confident going into the third round but rule breaker is still a game and dangerous opponent as Aros throws a nice overhand there by Aros going for that stand switch but just got caught a leg kick there lands for Aros and now rule breaker. By rule breaker good leg kick there I like the way rule breaker uh, switches up oh, that is going to be a reset yeah, I like the way rule breaker mixes up his attack goes low goes high goes in between that's nice ice cold has his back to the cage you don't want to do that especially in front of rule breakers corner 
Hard knee there by Taking Ice a Cold. close look at this clinch, but that's a good reversal there. Aros with a good job of getting his opponents back to the cage now, landing two of those clean overhands. Yeah, he's been landing those overhands since the previous round. How many of those can Robert can take at this point? Ooh, both fighters really emphasizing on some calf kicks. I feel like if they throw it on the thigh, it's going to do a lot more damage unprotected area of the body. Yeah, eat three or four of those. Your legs are working. Ice Cold with another right straight. Add a couple of power attributes to Ice Cold and I swear to God he's going to be putting people's lights out the way he's landing. He's getting tired too. Both these fighters are. They're in the third round and Rule Breaker is coming out swinging. Rule Breaker seems at his wits end. He seems really tired. Ooh. It's a hard right there by Arroz. Arroz, I think, slipped that. Referee urging them on. One minute left in this third and final round. Kickboxing action, action ladies and gentlemen, nonstop. Both these fighters putting in. The amount of striking, time. clinic, oh, knee to the head. That's illegal. Seems the score is asking for a point deduction. A knee to the head, that is not in the rules. Arroz is going to take a breather. I think he, he's going to benefit from this as well. If he can overcome the head trauma, he can really catch his breath a bit. I think both fighters will get a bit of a reset in what is almost 40 seconds left in the fight, in my estimation. No, you can't be on my mama album. Pop's home, I ain't getting frisked.